This is the luxury world. Get inspired with us today and tomorrow. Rolex is well known for its highly precise mechanical watches, timeless designs, and superior craftsmanship. The GMT Master II series is particularly noteworthy among Rolex's esteemed watch collections. Within this series, the Rolex Pepsi has gained significant popularity. Nevertheless, there have been rumors circulating about the potential discontinuation of this specific model. Is there factual evidence available to support or refute these speculations? Let's uncover the truth in this today's video brought to you by the luxury world. In this investigation, we explore the fascinating story of the Rolex GMT Master II series, focusing on the Pepsi model, and analyze the factors and consequences surrounding the possible discontinuation of these legendary timepieces. If you have not subscribed to our channel yet, we invite you to do so now to stay updated on our upcoming videos. Speculations regarding the potential discontinuation of this Rolex model have been circulating for some time. Initially brushed off as mere rumors, the increasing belief in its validity is gaining traction. Despite the absence of any official statements from Rolex, a prevailing suspicion among watch enthusiasts suggests that the stainless steel variant of their models might be nearing discontinuation. It is crucial to emphasize that this is purely speculative and lacks confirmation from Rolex itself. Many regard the Pepsi variant as the most cherished and sought after within the GMT series. From an external viewpoint, it stands out as the preferred choice among Rolex GMT enthusiasts. While other GMT variations are admired, there is an indescribable affinity for the high contrast bezel of the Pepsi that resonates on a profound level. The Rolex Pepsi, distinguished by its iconic blue and red bezel, has been an integral part of the GMT Master lineage since its initial launch in the mid-1950s. Over the years, Rolex has crafted this distinctive bezel in various materials, including Bakelite, aluminum, and contemporary Cerachrom ceramic. Despite the considerable evolution of today's GMD Master II models from their predecessors, they retain specific design elements and functionalities that create a bridge across all generations of this globally acclaimed timepiece designed for travelers. In this extensive guide, we will delve into the historical journey, development, and metamorphosis of the blue and red bezel. Exploring the legacy of the celebrated pilot's watch, known as the Rolex GMT Pepsi, the primary rationale appears to center on the difficulty of upholding Rolex's stringent standards when producing the red ceramic bezel. The Swiss watchmaking industry, operating under unique principles in the realm of horology, diverges from conventional business practices. While typical businesses might increase the production of popular items, the Swiss watch industry often adopts an opposing strategy. In the luxury sector, there is a premium placed on maintaining limited availability and exclusivity to safeguard the brand's image. An illustrative instance can be observed in the discontinuation of the Pat Ek Philip 5711, as stated by the Stern family, who cited excessive hype as overshadowing the brand's desire to be recognized for its high horology timepieces. Rolex's potential choice to discontinue specific models is grounded in a commitment to preserving the exceptional quality and desirability of its products rather than solely catering to market demand. The origin of the Pepsi model traces back to its introduction by Rolex in 1955 with a reference 6542, featuring a Bakelite bezel. In 1959, Bakelite was replaced by aluminum. However, by 2007, Rolex made a significant shift to ceramic bezels, and at that juncture, the Pepsi was exclusively available in the white gold variant. Rolex's reasoning behind not producing it in stainless steel was rooted in the impracticality of applying the complex ceramic bezel to that material. While the white gold version exuded luxury, it remained financially out of reach for many enthusiasts. The possible discontinuation of the Rolex 126719BLRO, the stainless steel version of the Pepsi, is not motivated by Rolex's desire to artificially limit availability, a practice sometimes seen in the luxury industry. Rather, it arises from the significant challenges involved in manufacturing the red ceramic bezel, challenges that may surpass the advantages of continued production. Despite Rolex's initial position, optimism endured that they might eventually unveil a stainless steel version of the Pepsi. In 2018, the watch community was taken aback when Rolex introduced the 126710BLRO in stainless steel. However, acquiring this model proved to be notably difficult. Discussions with authorized dealers indicate that the potential discontinuation of this model aligns with the challenges associated with producing the red ceramic bezel, mirroring the situation seen with the white gold Pepsi. The challenge associated with producing the red ceramic bezel is substantial and should not be underestimated. To validate Rolex's claims, a thorough investigation into ceramics was conducted. 
the research substantiated Rolex's assertions, confirming that, despite advancements in modern materials, creating a vibrant bicolor ceramic bezel remains a complex process. The bezel undergoes baking to become a single color, after which half of it undergoes chemical treatment, pressure, and heat to transform into an assorted color. This intricate and costly procedure has a notable failure rate. It is reasonable to assume that crafting the blue-black of the BLNR is less demanding than achieving the red-blue combination of the BL Oro, considering that all other GMD models with bicolor bezels feature black and another color. Except for the Pepsi, it seems logical to view this as a supporting factor for the discontinuation theory. Additionally, Rolex has faced challenges in manufacturing the ceramic bezel for Pepsi, particularly in achieving a clean line between the red and blue sections. The red portion is prone to cracking over time, which is less than ideal for a luxury watch. Despite Pepsi being one of the most sought-after Rolex models, the brand has struggled to meet demand, resulting in lengthy wait lists at authorized dealers and escalating prices on the gray market. Moreover, with Rolex introducing numerous new models in recent years, there is speculation that the company may be streamlining its production line by phasing out older models, such as the Pepsi. However, it is essential to emphasize that all this speculation lacks confirmation of Pepsi's discontinuation. Limited availability may be attributed to production challenges, causing delays for those on waiting lists. The hope remains that Rolex can address these production issues, as the Pepsi is a cherished variant that many enthusiasts wish to see continue. The potential discontinuation of the Rolex Pepsi could wield a considerable influence on the luxury watch market. The scarcity of this model could drive up prices, heightening its appeal to collectors and enthusiasts. Thus, if you have a keen interest in acquiring this watch, it is prudent to act promptly, as obtaining one may become increasingly challenging once production concludes. While the fate of the Rolex GMT Master II Pepsi remains uncertain, Seizing the opportunity to obtain one sooner rather than later is advisable for those who hold a fondness for this iconic timepiece. It is crucial to emphasize that the discontinuation of the Rolex GMT Master II Pepsi is based on rumors, as there has been no official announcement from Rolex regarding such plans. However, if these speculations prove accurate, there is a likelihood that the Pepsi model will be succeeded by a new version featuring a different bezel color. Several additional factors could contribute to the potential discontinuation. Rolex might aim to position the GMT Master II as a more serious tool watch, and the playful bezel color of the Pepsi may not align with this image. Additionally, the brand could be contemplating streamlining its product line, focusing on a more limited selection of core models. Lastly, there might be plans to introduce a new GMT Master II model with an alternative bezel color, such as a Sprite model in black and green. The possibility of discontinuing the Rolex Pepsi, particularly the stainless steel variants, has generated interest and apprehension among watch enthusiasts. Despite the absence of an official statement from Rolex, the obstacles involved in creating the red ceramic bezel present a persuasive case for its potential discontinuation. Whether driven by production complexities or a desire to uphold the brand's exclusivity, the future of Pepsi remains uncertain. As enthusiasts of timepieces, we keenly anticipate unfolding events, optimistic that this iconic watch will remain a fixture on our wrists in the coming years. Stay connected for additional updates in the ever-engaging domain of luxury watches. If you enjoyed the video, let us know by leaving a comment and giving it a thumbs up. Do not forget to follow our channel for more content. Thank you for watching The Luxury World, and we look forward to having you join us in our upcoming videos.